I'm going to share how embarrassing it was to vlog alone and how I managed to survive it while people stare at me. Hey everyone, it's Kian. Welcome back to my channel. This video is part of a series I made last October when I went to Seoul last autumn. And if you haven't seen any of my vlogs, I will make sure to link them all down below. I did vlog every day. I went there for six days. I went to Insadong, Myeongdong, Gyeongbokgung Palace. I vlogged everywhere. I shopped. I ate alone. And if you're curious about my trip to Seoul, I'll link them all down below. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like videos like this about K-beauty, vlogging alone, lifestyle. Don't be shy to comment down below if you could relate to my struggles of vlogging alone. Isu bon bon. Comment down below if you could relate to my struggles, if you have been vlogging alone or if you want to vlog alone but too scared to do it. Bon bon. Try to film. Say hi to Bon Bon. So I went to Seoul alone for the first time and my main intention was to just go around Seoul and vlog everything from day one and I knew that it's gonna be embarrassing. For the first few days, I was speaking so soft that I had to vlog with my camera really near my face. I couldn't utter a word without looking around if people were staring at me. I was really awkward with the camera for the first few days. Struggle number one, I was too afraid of judgment. I was too conscious of people staring at me while I was talking to my camera alone. You could really see the judgment from their eyes and I couldn't do anything about it. I mean, I vlogged everything from when I was eating alone. Excuse me, that's my dog scratching. When I ate alone, when I shopped alone, went around Hongdae alone, I went biking alone, and every time I tried to vlog with people around me, there would always be staring, and I couldn't do anything about it. How did I do it? I tried not to care about people staring at me and just vlogged as I went through the day. <laughs> Struggle number two. Vlogging alone means more walking. This is because my style of vlogging is to shoot myself walking past by the camera to have more content in the vlog. So I have to put my camera on the ground, walk away from the camera, walk past by the camera for the shot, for the scene, and then walk back to the camera, check if I was in frame or if anybody ruined the shot. And if it wasn't a good shot, I have to do it all over again. No one will hold the camera for you because you're vlogging alone. I would rather put my camera on the ground than ask people to you know, take a video of me. I think that's more embarrassing. Struggle number three, no one will help you take your Instagram photos. Vlogging is one, but taking photos of yourself is another story. The only thing that helped me is that I had a tripod that could cling on anything. I used a Joby tripod. Just did not mind anyone looking at me while I was doing it. Ajumas will judge you, but when you're around younger people, they won't judge you because they're doing the same thing. Especially in Seoul, it's kind of normal to them. I went to DDP to meet Joan Kim, and I didn't know it was Seoul Fashion Week, so there were so many people with their fashionista clothes, and I was kind of, ugh. Maybe I should do it too. So I put down my coat on the floor, put my camera on the railings, yeah. and just took photos of myself. So here are the photos I took. I think I did a pretty good job at taking pictures alone. Don't you think so? If you're curious about other shots that I did in Korea, I'll link my Instagram page below. Struggle number four, there were a lot of awkward silence and laughing alone. This is my first time vlogging alone, so trying to create a vid a vlog that's not boring was hard for me. So to compare, this is me with Joel that I met during the trip to Seoul, and then this is me alone. Kinda boring. <laughs> I just went out and do it my style, but yeah, it was a struggle. 
How did I overcome? Talk to yourself more. Pretend that the camera is your friend. Try naming your camera. I don't have a name for my camera yet. Try to talk to your camera as if there's someone out there listening to you and not, and you know, the camera will reply in your head and you just reply. Oh, this is kind of getting weird. It was a struggle for me to get by through the day without being lonely. Comparing my vlogs before with my friends and my family, it was a bit hard for me to make it more happier or more interesting. That makes sense. Although vlogging alone makes you realize how independent you are, I did work hard with my itinerary so that every day I had to go somewhere to make more content. So please, please watch all my vlogs. So tips for traveling alone, I guess it is a must to have a tripod. I think you can use any tripod that you can hold, but I would like to recommend the one that you can bend. I don't know, it depends on how you vlog. There are other vloggers that has another kind of tripod that extends, but I do prefer a smaller tripod so that it could fit my travel bag. Another thing is don't be shy. They won't even remember you, so might as well YOLO. So number three, be creative. Plan ahead and think of how you'd be editing your vlog so that when you're out there, you'd be more confident of how you'd be vlogging. Like how I vlogged with cameras on the floor or putting it here or there. So yeah, I had struggles while vlogging alone. But I did enjoy it and I would totally recommend it to everyone who wants to try it. I do vlog for myself and so that I could, you know, reminisce of what happened during that trip. Not just look at pictures because pictures can tell a thousand stories, but a video could make you feel how you felt during the trip. And this is something I would recommend you to do even once in your life. Just try it once and you totally understand how I feel about vlogging. So I hope you enjoy my video of me talking about me vlogging alone. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more often, I hope. And see you guys on my next video.